Day is never finished. Master got me working. Someday Master set me free. Good shot, Carmen. Did you pray today? Well, respect to bro, he got into AA and managed to... No. Let's get the shit out of me. His tank just rendered out. Brother,
Jesus Christ. Hey guys, it's uh, it's been a minute. It's been a while, you might say. It's been about a week, but I'm here. I'm back. I'm making some more content. So today, as you guys saw, a lot of the content here was in the T72 M1, which is in the Swedish tree. Uh, half these clips were made with not all the modifications. Like I was unlocking modifications as I was playing this in the video. So, you know, it's not at peak, but this tank overall was pretty solid. It uh, has composite armor, which honestly doesn't really work. In the, the very first clip you see, it dies to heat FS from that, so yeah. But it has a two-plane stabilizer, auto-loader, laser range finding, but no thermals for 9.3, which is kind of surprising. Additionally, it does have a 125mm gun, which is pretty strong, as well as a low-ish profile compared to other countries' MBTs. Its armor is usually pretty good. If in a down tier, you're usually going to get penned by dart rounds but it doesn't matter a lot of the time sometimes it'll save you sometimes it won't though some of the cons of it obviously t72 we know a lot of them weak lower plate um the ammo carousel is pretty weak uh because it's an export tank it doesn't get access to thermals it only has three man crew which kind of sucks but we move uh its top speed isn't great and its uh zoom is not amazing Anyways, overall, I would give this tank like a, on a tier list, I would give it like a, like a B, maybe a A minus. I'd give it an A minus, that's good. Moving on to the CV9030 fin. Um, I like this tank. I had a lot of pain with it, uh, though. <laughs> a couple of the problems were you don't unlock dart rounds until uh, the tier 3 upgrades, so you have to spend most of your time with armor piercing discarding sabot rounds, which are not ideal. Sometimes you struggle to even pen the sides of some tanks if on an angle. Um, with the dart rounds it's a lot better, but still suffers from some problems being able to pen. Um, but it comes with uh, Gen 2 thermals, which is really good for its BR. Um, its top speed is good, but acceleration isn't great. And its engine block in the front can sometimes absorb shells, which is also pretty handy. Also has pretty good guidance for vertical for the main gun and machine gun. Um, some of its problems are its low armor, and as I said, its mediocre acceleration, and its dart rounds being a tertiary upgrade. Anyways, yeah, that's, uh, that's really all I got to say about it. I hope you guys have a good day or night, and I will catch you in the next one. Later.